In today's video, we're going to take a look at three things you can do that are going to significantly enhance your efficacy on offense. What I mean by that is what can you do to be more effective? And uh, before I get into that, though, I want to welcome you guys. My name is Cody, and uh, I want to welcome those of you that are new to my YouTube channel to this video. And I want to encourage you to let me know that you're new. Let me know your name so that I can meet you in the comments section I really look forward to talking with you down there. But real quick, what I want to talk about today is just a simple three-step, three-rule uh, plan that can really help you guys uh, become more effective on offense. And the first thing is basically um, starting out with what I call uh, doing an 80-20 analysis. And essentially, you're asking yourself the question, what are the what are the you know two to three you know no more than five what are the most effective things that I do um, on offense? What, what are the things, what are the plays, what are the two to three plays that if I call this play, I mean, this is my bread and butter. Um, and essentially what you're asking yourself is, what, are, what is the minimum amount of plays that I can call to produce a desired outcome? So, you know, do an 80-20 analysis. And I find for me, I like the bunch and I use PA post in combination with, um, in combination with the play bunch trail and I just run that over and over and over and over again I have a couple other plays that I like but that's pretty much what I run and uh, to me what it what it is is it allows me to focus on execution which I think is the hardest part of offense it's the hardest part of Madden really is to be able to you know execute well under pressure be able to execute well um, you know be able to make those reads because normally the routes are open right? Normally the routes are open. The question is, can you get them the ball? So uh, anyways, guys, so for me, that's bunch, it's PA post and um, bunch trail. If you guys want to see how I run my offense, um, you can check out my Madden 18 premium membership and it's going to give you six uh, different eBooks. It's also um, over the, throughout the course of the year, we have two out right now. It's our offense and defensive guides. So be sure to check those out, but that can really help you guys. Uh, I think it's one of the best products that I've ever been able to do. And by far, uh, I've nothing, heard nothing but great results so far from the people uh, that have it because I also include a one hour a week kind of update video of what I've learned and how to improve the scheme every single week. So uh, be sure to check that out. I think that's something that can certainly help you if you're looking to take your game to the next level offensively. And I also have the defensive side too, so I have both sides of the ball for you. But, um, but anyways, guys, that's kind of the idea. And that's that's what we're really looking at when we're looking at those uh, plays. But the uh, the next thing that I want to encourage you guys to do on offense, and this is the second, um, and, I, and I believe this is really, really important, and most people don't do this. This is the one of the common mistakes, is routine. And uh, when I say routine, basically, what do you do that you do every single time? What is repeatable? What is the system? What is the process? What is the plan? What are the things that you, if you, if so, you, if you repeat them, will have a uh, consistent, creates a consistent effect, a consistent output. So um, what I mean by all that is essentially it comes down to what is your, uh, what are the things that you can repeat? So can you come out in the same formation every single time? Can you do the same hot routes every single time to at least get yourself ready? What are you looking for at the defense? What are the things, and you got to figure all this out on your own, but for me, uh, my routine, and I'll just share mine with you uh, on Madden, is I come out in the play bunch trail, I, I, I flip the formation, and and immediately when I, when I come out in bunch trail, I set the, I quickly audible to PA post, uh, and I, I set my play up to run PA post. That's the play I want to run more times than not, and uh, that's the play that I really want to go. So I immediately I come out in bunch trail, I audible to PA post, and I hot route my running back to an out route. That's a, my, my quick routine. And then from there, what I do is I check the, uh, I look at the, the coverage, and if they're if the cornerbacks are off, if they're playing off coverage, then um, then the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to audible to play verticals and I'm going to run that little wheel route on the outside. Um, so that's kind of the the basic gist of the routine. Uh, I'm looking also like trying to see if if they're potentially going to set up a blitz. The other big thing that I'm looking at too is do they come out in the same play every single time? Because um, if they don't, if they're coming out in different plays every single time, that changes everything. That changes the dynamic of the game because then you don't really know what they're calling. 
but what you do know is they're probably not calling they're not probably not making a whole lot of adjustments and so what that can do is that can change you know exactly everything you want to do from a from a schematics standpoint so anyways that's a big big tip for me uh, is what is your routine what are the things that you can repeat um, and if you can really get that down it can really help your guys's uh, in my opinion it can really help your game okay so um, the third thing that I, I want to talk about and before I get to it I want to remind you guys that are new that this is your first time I want to welcome you I want to thank you for checking out the channel but I want to encourage you really to um, you know take a moment and just introduce yourself to us in the comment section we'd really like to get I, I personally would really like to get to meet you and uh, and, and we just like to you know kind of get the chat in the comments so let me know uh, what's your name and what is what are some of your questions uh, that you're having uh, as far as Madden 18 goes and the last thing that we talk about, and I talked about this in the defensive video, and I really, really think that this is very critical for every area uh, of Madden, but especially on offense, what is your plan in the red zone? And uh, the basic question or the premise is you have to be able to score touchdowns in the red zone. You have to be able to score touchdowns in the red zone. If you can't, if you cannot score touchdowns in the red zone, and what's going to happen is um, you're not going to be able to win mo most of your games because to me the most critical element of defense is to be able to shut people down in the red zone. If you can stop people in the red zone on defense, you're going to be successful. And likewise, if you can convert on the red zone in offense, you're going to be successful. And so their basic um, tenet here is to sp spend a lot of time trying to figure out, you know, how can I – how can I be effective in the red zone? That's the basic question. And if you just spend some time, you'll come up with some pretty cool little ideas. Some pretty cool little plays will pop out at you. You will get better. It will. You will see a significant improvement in your offense. What I do um, for me, I, I like the play gun empty bunch. I really like the gun empty bunch in the red zone. And the reason is because the play Z spot, there's a route that you can use. And it's in the premium membership. So if you want to check it out. But there's a route on the play Z spot that you can use uh, in the red zone pretty effectively. And there's, there's another thing that I like about the Gun Empty Bunch is the um, it's it's kind of deceptive because if you want to run the ball with your running back, and it's pretty clear too, um, it's easy to read. Like if the run's open, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, you know, like if they're spreading everybody out, they're not really honoring the, the, the run, then you can quickly audible to a quarterback draw. And the cool part about it is – um, that quarterback draw, in my opinion, gets really, really, really good um, blocking. I mean, by far some of the best blocking that you could possibly uh, get on a running play this season, especially if you're patient. And again, you're only trying to go one or two yards. So that's a really, really good, um, really, really good play for me uh, from the perspective of a red zone. But I do it. The, the basic point to you guys and what I really want to encourage you with is you have to have some kind of plan. I mean, you just, you just have to have something um, for the red zone. It's just so critical that because if you don't, you're, you're just, you're never going to be able to convert. And if you can't convert in the red zone, you really, in my opinion, you can't win games. Uh, red zone is, is such a critical area and nobody really talks about it much. Most people would rather just give you guys a money play um, and talk about that. But to me, it's, it's all about the red zone. If you could score touchdowns, I, I guarantee you, I looked at all the data of myself and other players. Uh, when you really study the game, what you come to find out is it really, really does come down to touchdowns versus field goals, turnovers. Those are the those are the critical two. If you if you don't turn the ball over on offense and if you convert in the red zone, more than likely you're going to be able to win most of your games. So I want to leave you guys with that, and I want to encourage you to check out my Madden 18